Good day, everybody. Today, what I wanted to do was go through how to create a quick day trade or swing trade log of results so you can track your results trade by trade. So here we have the table that you input your data. We have a couple pivot tables that summarize the results as well as a quick chart that shows cumulative P&L throughout the life of this particular strategy. The first thing we wanna do is create our he headings. We're gonna have trade number, the date the trade was taken on, the week that the trade fell in, which is gonna be a calculated field, the ticker symbol, the size, position size of the trade, the side, whether it was long or short. We're gonna have our entry price, our exit price, as well as a profit and loss. Now I'm gonna just quickly grab some fictional trade data to throw in here so we have something to work with. Okay, I'm gonna format dates now to be the correct dates using short date. Let me grab some entry and exit prices. Paste those in there. I'm going to format those to be currency. All right, before we go any further, I'm gonna define this all as a table. My table has headers, yes. And I'm just gonna name that for simplicity's sake, data. All right, now our profit and loss column, it's gonna be a calculation based on the entry, exit, and position size. Well, what we also need to take into account is the side of the trade, whether it was long or short, because it's going to affect how we calculate our profit. If we're long, we want to enter the trade low, exit it high. That would represent profit. If we were short, we would want to enter the trade high, exit it low. That would be a profitable trade. So what we can do is a quick if then statement. So if the side equals long equals L, then take the exit minus the entry multiplied by the size. And if not, the only other option is if you were short, we'd want, we would want to do the opposite and take the exit, excuse me, the entry minus the exit multiplied, excuse me, by the size. And just close that. All right, that's gonna auto fill down. We see on this first trade, got in at 10, out at 11 with a position for a dollar profit, a position size of 205, so that's $205. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna format P&L as currency as well, make it look a little cleaner no decimals. All right, so let's, this provides a good transaction record of your trades, but we wanna make now some summary tables to, so we can see at a glance results. So let's highlight this whole table, insert, pivot table. Let's put this on the same sheet. So I'm gonna choose existing worksheet, click in location. And we'll just put it right here. Okay, so now we're gonna kind of build our hierarchy of how we want this report. We want the week number that the trade took place in, the date, the ticker number, our ticker symbol rather, and then simply pull in our profit and loss as a sum, that's good, sum. Let's format that as a currency with no decimals, okay. So now we can see week by week how we've done. So on week one, we lost $805 based on these trades. Week two, we made five grand, a little more based on these trades. And you can see the day-to-day -day results. Where this really helps out is that if you had a multiple trades within the same day, so let's say on one six, Let's say this whole streak of trades took place on one six and right click refresh. Now you could see on one six, 
<clears throat> these are my four trades with the corresponding PL. All right, let's make one more summary table with a cumulative profit and loss uh, table and a chart. So I'm just going to copy over this whole pivot table to use as a base. Let's paste it here to remove some of these fields so we can build up from scratch. So now I want the trade number. All right, very simple. So trade one, two, three, what the profit and loss was. What I want though is that this profit and loss to accumulate as I take more and more trades to, to let me know overall how has this trading program been doing. So that's simple. We're gonna right click in the pivot table, show values as, running total in, the trade number is the base field, that is correct, okay. And there you go, this is an accumulation of your trade results by trade number. So as you take the results, it's just simply adding uh, profit and loss onto each other. Let's make a quick chart out of this. I'm gonna use an area chart. I think it looks the best. So I, I click insert, chose area chart. Let's call this cumulative p &L. I don't like how that title is crowding down the numbers. So I'm going to go to design, chart element, chart title. Rather than above, which is the default, I'm going to choose centered overlay. Kind of pull that up a little bit. I'm going to get rid of this legend. I don't think it's very meaningful. I'm going to highlight it with my cursor and then click the delete key. Gives a little more space. And there you go. You can see your cumulative PL throughout your trades. So what's cool about this is if we, as we add trades and go through time, these uh, pivot tables will uh, update and capture the new activity. So let's say now we have a trade 28 come in that took place also on 127, 2020. Week five, that was symbol AAA, let's say. 100 shares long. Got in at 10, out at 13, for example, 300 bucks. So all you would do is come over here, e click either one of these pivot tables because they're both linked to the same source data. Right click, refresh, and there you have it. Trade 28 is now showing on our cumulative results. And it's right here on our uh, weekly results as well. All right, guys, so that was how to build a quick kind of day or swing trade log. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Let me